into your love reading for the week of May 10th through the 16th, 2021. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, guys, let's do this. As with all of my readings, guys, I do answer a yes or no question for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. So throughout the reading, just try to come up with a question you might have for me so that I can answer that for you when we get to the end. All right, Aquarius. Queen of Cups, nice. Faith, which is the Hierophant. I will show these to you once I get them all out, okay? Ooh, and the world. Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords. All right, let's start here. So with this particular weekly spread, guys, this is a shorter version of the love reading. The longer one is the entire month reading, which is already posted. Um, check that one out as well. There's also a singles reading posted and uh, general, okay? Anyway, so this particular reading, the overall energy is always for the person that I am reading for, would be you. Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you, the other person, outside influences, whatever, okay? So you guys are in this Queen of Cups energy, which is cool. Um, it's being emotionally mature, emotionally available ready to offer your love to somebody if you're not already in a connection that's definitely your intention it's being loving compassionate loyal let's get one on this queen of cups for aquarius oh that is like four cards never mind let's try again <laughs> clarify the queen of cups for aquarius the Page of Cups reversed. Are you not saying anything, guys? Do you have feelings for somebody, but you're not telling them? Why? Why is that? Strength, Leo energy. Um, you might even be turning down an offer from someone here because it's like not good enough for you. Get another one on this strength energy. It's like you're you're holding out for like that right, the right person who can match you as far as emotional maturity and that whoever that offers from might just have not been able to match you in that way. Oh, judgment. <laughs> you might have somebody coming in from the past. Judgment is a reevaluation of a past situation, can be a rebirth. It's like something's coming back up for you to make a final decision on it. And if that is this page of cups reversed, that's a no from you. <laughs> let's see, let's get another one here, guys. Oh boy, the sun, nice. I think that you guys are just happy. You guys are happy, you're strong, you're clear headed. You're emotionally mature. So if a situation comes back up for you that you've already dealt with and this person has not matured, you're gonna be like, no, get that shit out of here. <laughs> Don't come at me with that. Um, and I think it's just you being in your power. I mean, you're, you know, you guys are air energy. You're really logic minded. So you're not gonna fall into something that where somebody's coming back and being all emotional. That's not gonna get to you. You know what I mean? You're definitely like smart about the situation. You're going to you're going to recognize that and you're going to be like, "No, I'm good. I am happy. I am not dealing with that again." Um it can also be though, guys, you might have feelings for somebody that you are not expressing. Anyway, recent past. Faith, which is the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. That is a commitment. You might have been in a in a really significant commitment in the recent past, like a whole marriage. Um, don't have to be though, but that's what it looks like to me. In the present, you've got the world. You've actually got one, two, three, four, five, five majors out here. That's that's a big deal, Aquarius. Anyway, with the world being in your present, you are leveling up. You are closing out a cycle and starting a whole new one. And it looks like a pretty awesome one with you being in that sun and strength energy there. What is this world energy here for Aquarius? The Knight of Cups reversed. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I think you're closing out a cycle with somebody here that was just emotionally immature. 
They're coming in as a Knight of Cups reversed, and you're the whole ass Queen of Cups upright. All right, let's get another one here. The Hanged Man. All right, so you just, you're ending a cycle here, and it could just be ending a cycle where, like, you didn't express your emotions. Um, but now, being in this Hanged Man energy, either you or them, nobody's really doing anything yet. It's just a really observational energy. Like, we're just going to wait and see what happens. We're going to just make sure that we know what's going on here. Look at it from every angle before we take any action on something. The Magician. So you are in, like, full-on manifestation mode. The Hangman and the Magician with the Hierophant back here. This is a really spiritual reading, Aquarius. It's definitely, like enlightening for you it's it's a it's evolution it's the universe is leveling you up so and I think that you know that and I think that that puts you in this place where you're going to be really careful about who you let in your space and I also think that that's more that's more of a priority for you right now than your love life get one on this magician yo okay so you are manifesting this right here all right, this is divine connection. This is, it's a completely balanced union. This is Gemini energy if you're dealing with a Gemini, but um, this is what you're manifesting and you're not gonna settle for anything less. Like you want the whole deal here. And if it's gonna be anything less than that, you're gonna turn it down because you're just too in your power right now to allow anything less than that in your space. And that's really awesome, Aquarius, it really is. Now in the future, we have Gemini here with the 10 of swords. So somebody ends up hurt here in the future. I don't know that it's you. I think you might, you might be turning somebody down here. Um, or you might miss an opportunity because it's, you don't feel like it's good enough for you. And then maybe you decide that it was. Oh, the star, look at you. Coming in in your own reading upright. This is amazing. So whatever this Ten of Swords is here, this hurt energy, I honestly, I wouldn't worry about it too much because you're so in your power here, healthy. I don't think that it's gonna affect you for very long. And it's kind of like putting, putting all the hurt in the past and moving into this space here. This is wishes coming true. This is healing, rejuvenation, replenishment. You've got so much spiritual energy here, Aquarius. I'm telling you, this is man it's amazing it's like you like i can see it in front of me you go through this whole process here where you like become like your whole self all of it like man it's really cool really cool guys nine of wands in the end here sagittarius so that's it's not giving up yet somebody's not giving up somebody's still holding on might be somebody that maybe you don't want to hold on to and they're still holding on to you um, otherwise it's just, you're, you know, you're still just pushing through, pushing through that 10 of swords, still going, still healing yourself, still focusing on your manifestations. And there you go. You end here at the 10 of pentacles. That's ultimate stability and commitment. Um, so you get where you're trying to get to. You do. And it's a whole spiritual process for you, like for real. All right, your potential obstacle, the Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. So it's confusion, it's a lack of clarity, and it's also an energy of having so many um, potential options here, so many possibilities, so many different things you could do here, maybe different people um, that you don't really know which one you want to grab. It's also heavy manifestation energy. It's having all these possibilities and the goal is to just get them out of your head and down onto the physical plane. Yep, and there you go. Seven of Cups reverse. Look at that shit. You do it. You get that clarity. You bring that all down to the physical plane here. Everything that you're trying to manifest, all these possibilities, right? Um, it's getting your head clear, which we already know because you've got that sun energy. So it can also be dumping off options that you know are trash for you. 
and your advice, guys. You have the Three of Swords, Libra energy here. So this is about hurt. It's about heartbreak that needs healed here, whether you know it or not. And look at this on the bottom. It's the world again. Got it twice in this reading now. What is this Three of Swords for Aquarius? Strength. Strength twice. Oh my gosh, this reading is like so straightforward. So you might need to heal from something involving a Leo. It doesn't have to be though. Um, but it's having the strength to put whatever past hurt you might have behind you so that you're not blocking your blessings. Because if we're holding on to some past shit while we're trying to manifest, like that's going to be a problem. And the seven of coins, Taurus energy. Invest in your healing, guys. Whatever that means for you. Invest in your healing. Work towards your healing here. Invest in your confidence, your strength. I don't know why I'm feeling like maybe somebody needs to work out. And I don't I don't mean that like somebody's I don't I don't mean that in like a shitty kind of way, like, oh you're gross, you need to work out. It's just healthy. It, it will help your whole your whole being, not just the way you look. That's what I meant. Okay, let's get your yes or no question, Aquarius. Are you ready? Take a deep breath, focus on your question. Okay, Aquarius, let's do this. Yes or no for my Aquarius friends. That is a yes with temperance, another major awesome awesome energy guys i hope you wanted it to be a yes you've got so many majors here it's ridiculous so i'm just going to go through the signs again for you we have leo heavy we have taurus we have gemini <sighs> what else do we have you aquarius okay those are the majors that i see but you got them all here so it's, it doesn't really matter that much but just a little fyi all right. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Take care and I will talk to you tomorrow.